Start off with having foundation on your face. I use powder foundation because of an effect that I want later. I lightly filled in my brows because they're a little sparse and I want them to show up on camera when I take photos. If this isn't a step that you need to do, that's great. Okay, so when it comes to scarring and special effects, there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. This is just, to me, one of the easiest applications. This is a product called Rigid Collodion. I know it's super strange. When I first heard of it, I was like, what the heck is this? But it's really cool. It almost looks like a little nail polish bottle. And you use the brush to apply this clear liquid, almost gel-like substance to your face or the areas where you want to look scarred. And the way that it works is as it dries, it will kind of cinch in your skin and create this sort of scarring effect all on its own. You really don't have to do much. And the more of effect that you want or the deeper the cut that you want it to look, the more layers that you apply and you let it dry in between. And then sometimes you can use a paper towel if it's getting too gummy or sticky. Okay, next effect, I wanted just kind of like a dirty, dingy-ish look. So I applied black mascara and then rubbed it around to make it look worn in and messy. Now going for a light bruising effect, I am using a particular palette. I will list all the products down below, of course, but I am taking a sponge, lightly wetting it, and using the yellow and the reds in it to give it sort of a standout look around the scar and other areas of the face. Now you can use a fine tip brush, go back in the red, and put it in the deep crevices of the scars that you made with the Rigid Collodion. Also use that brush and pull out some of the lines to give it more of a texture. I also went over it with white along the edges to give it more of a 3D effect. To give the under eye area more depth, add some red lightly with the sponge. Okay, I know this looks super weird, but I'm stretching my mouth out to stretch the edges of the rigid collodion so it cracks because I want the look of flaky skin. And that's what I'm using the spatula to help me achieve that look and also why I use powder foundation. Insert creep contacts. Okay, so there are also many kinds of fake blood, but this one in particular is called scab blood and it just looks coagulated and chunky and nasty and adds to that effect. And it really is nice for putting over the fake skin, the, you know, flaky skin that we created to give it that freshly kind of cut effect. Like it just happened, like it's not an old injury. I also really like this product because of how bright it is. Uh, there's many different kinds of blood colors as well, but this one, it just, it's super bright and it shows up really well on film and on camera. So you can basically use whatever tool you like to apply the product, but I specifically like this spatula because it's thin and you can turn it to the side and cover large areas or get into the small, tiny crevices, which is what I was doing here. Then you can just take your finger and blend in the rest of it. All right, here is the final look for easy scarring and blood special effects. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. You can find me at Bangle Queen on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.